deduction to E should raise. Of course, this is going to be if you guys can already see. The last games were Protoss and Zerg. So, uh, of course, these games are meant just to let you guys settle in and get used to the, to the, to the new units and maybe, you know, the strategies to build and just really absorb the game. Uh, and, uh, bigger games should be coming uh, shortly afterwards. I hope everyone's having a great Friday. Actually, at the time of casting, it's now Saturday morning, for me at least. Um, and so you guys will probably be watching this Saturday. Uh, and so anyways, this is going to be a pretty good game, I hope. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Unfortunately, I don't recall the name of this map. But, uh, and I'm not very good with Terran in the group where I was probably, that was probably my worst race. But um, I am aware of the submersible supply depots, so I'm going to go ahead and place those at the ramp. I see most Terran players these days in StarCraft 2 using that strategy. <sighs> very easy to just submerge them and uh, use that as a game, really. My opponent, by the way, is Protoss, if you guys can catch that. And this is a 1v1 map. I've got to say the Terran music is pretty damn catchy once you uh, get used to it. Reminiscent of the old uh, Terran music, but uh, a nice new touch as well. And uh, the build that I see most Terran players go for effectively versus Protoss is uh, no longer Mech, but actually Bio. This is uh, probably my favorite part of the Terran music. And so I discovered this feature, and it's very easy to just set waypoints now by holding shift and right clicking. So you can spam that with your scouting workers in the beginning of these. follow that trail the entire time. The only thing is, it's very easily countered once an uh, enemy gets a unit out, like a Zelog. As you guys can see, now I have to cancel the waypoints and manually microwave, otherwise the opponent will probably be able to kill it. And so uh, the bio bed build that's most effective I've seen in using is Protoss is uh, a usage of Marauders, basically the new cyborg uh, infantry unit, which is very, very powerful and great in itself because it has a snare applied to its attack. And I'm aware I've had a lot of requests to cast this game live. Um, and uh, that, that's definitely something I'm planning to do. I just have to sort out uh, the software I'll need to be able to do that. Probably going to use Audacity. So uh, be on the lookout for real live casting in the future. This, of course, is um, not a replay as I may have confused you guys. This is a recording of the game in my view. And then I review it again and cast over it. So I guess it's not a real replay, whereas uh, the replay functionality that Blizzard has installed. But I plan to cast the replay functionality uh, as well as the SM first person view. Uh, epics, excuse me. Um, first person uh, actual casting in game. Right now, building the reactor, the, uh, the uh, tech lab onto the barracks. A little bit confused here. The reactor cores actually allow you to build twice uh, the amount of units at the same time allotment. But the uh, tech lab allows you to build advanced units like marauders. You guys might be wondering why I'm getting gas. Uh, the tech labs require gas to sort of marauders. Otherwise, it would be very unfamiliar with Terran infantry getting so much gas. You guys saw earlier, I actually uh, highlighted a lot of the tool tips on the bottom right. Feel free to rewind and go back and look at those. You can uh, pause the uh, video and read the tool tips for uh, and so my strategy here against the Protoss player um, was to get the medics out, which are now uh, medevac dropships, kind of a combination of the medic and the dropship. So 
now I guess they're betting he's driving the dropship. I don't know. But uh, I do miss, miss the Russian uh, girl who was driving it before. But it's a pretty cool dropship that can kill your units, as well as a transport them. And I was actually thinking about moving out here, but I decided to wait until the combat center was done on the command center. There you guys see it is now just finished. Combat center pretty much still the same, just comms no longer an add-on. Rather just attached on the top of the command center. And similar to StarCraft 1, I feel like I won't be needing any factory units this game because uh, its chance siege tanks are pretty easily countered by the immortal unit from the Protoss, so I decided to just use the, the factory as a floating spotter. And as soon as I get the uh, medivac dropships out, that was my uh, cue to start moving in for the first time I the game. Here you guys see, I was highlighting the mule, which is a new Terran Racker mechanic. And thank you very much guys for pointing out the uh, Protoss Nexus uh, charge. I was not aware of that, or the Queen. I, I haven't even had a chance to use her yet. But rest assured, I'll be using more new units as time goes on. That is the mule right there. I think it lasts for about 90 seconds. Don't quote me on that. And it uh, gathers minerals at a much faster rate.